If you're thinking about giving GoodSync a try, definitely watch this video before you sign up. I've been using GoodSync for a while now, and in this video, I want to share all there is to know about this tool. Before we go into the details, if at any point while watching you decide to give GoodSync a try, check out the video description below and click on the link to get a really nice discount. All right, so GoodSync is a software that syncs all your files across up to five devices, making it easier to access all your stuff from anywhere you go, especially if you you often switch between different devices. It can also help you keep everything more organized, especially the important stuff like work documents and family photos. They also have some business options with backup and synchronization options for work computers and server. So GoodSync's goal is to basically provide a simple solution for managing data across different platforms. But now let's take a closer look at GoodSync's features. It's overall pretty simple and straightforward and can be used on different systems like Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux. So it'll work with whatever tech you prefer. GoodSync also includes two-way syncing. In simple terms, if you make changes on one device, GoodSync updates the others automatically, so all your documents will always be up to date. You don't have to worry about moving stuff around. You can also use GoodSync to not only sync files across your personal devices, it also connects with various cloud services like Google Drive and Dropbox without any issues. Or you can use the GoodSync server to store your files. So you can use GoodSync like a central hub for syncing all your files, making it work for you across different platforms. The main concern with using softwares like GoodSync is usually safety, which is something that I specifically looked into before I tried GoodSync. And they really do take that seriously, using strong encryption methods to make sure all your files stay safe and private when they're being synced. So even work documents will be safe. What also stood out for me is their flexibility. GoodSync works with different cloud providers, allowing you more freedom to decide where to keep your data. This flexibility means you aren't stuck with just one service, which is an issue with many other syncing tools that don't really give you many options. And as someone who often switches between different devices, sometimes even in the middle of a task, I found GoodSync pretty helpful. If I think of an idea for my business, I'll I'll often start something on my home computer, do some of the work on my phone while commuting, and then finish up my task in my office. Setting up everything to work despite these kinds of chaotic habits has been pretty simple so far, and I don't have to sit around waiting for anything to sync so I could continue my work. And as someone who accidentally deleted files in the past with no way of getting them back, I like that GoodSync's version history control makes it fairly easy to get back old files. I didn't need it so far, but it's nice to know it's there. After testing it out, I really don't have much bad to say about GoodSync. It's a pretty basic file syncing software, and if you're not very tech savvy, I would recommend just sticking to the basic settings and not switching things around too much since it's a little bit confusing. But if you ever need help figuring it out, there is lots of info on their website and 24-7 support. So if you do decide that GoodSync is worth trying for you, check out the link in the video description. It'll take you straight to their website and automatically add a relatively nice discount when you check out. So that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about GoodSync, just write them down below. I'll get back to you.